Have you ever heard of the Ratu voyage? Most people have not. It's a voyage that happened in 1972 where a gentleman named Thor from out of Onslow wanted to demonstrate that the ancient Kemetic people had the ability to traverse the Atlantic Ocean on their reed style boats prior to any European of Leif Erikson or any other European traveling to the Americas. So in 1972, he built a reed boat to the same specifications to which was understood by the Kemetic people. He sailed from Morocco to Barbados within 57 days. It was possible. He did it. And if that was the only thing, we can still say that eh, they could have done it, but did they do it? Well, there is too much, too many other pieces of evidence that demonstrate that these communities had contact with one another. Now, I know people were already existing in the Americas prior to the Younger Dryas period because these reed boats were not created until after the Younger Dryas period by the Hafarians or the Netufane people, one of the two. These are the pre-dynastic um, Kemetic people. These people were of African descent. With that knowledge, I want you to understand that when there is a comparison of the uh, Mesoamerican architecture in the building of pyramids, when the Mesoamerican understanding of star navigation with the Mesoamerican uh, language system, writing system, which there are too many similarities between Kemetic hieroglyphics and the Mesoamerican hieroglyphics, that archaeologists have all, for the most part, agreed that there are too many similarities for it to just have happened by chance. This had to be because the two communities connected with one another. Also, another thing that you may find intriguing, we do not see elephants in the Americas during that time frame after the Younger Dries period. But what we do see is pottery and hieroglyphs of elephants out of the Kemetic people, understandable, because they're in Africa. But these same elephants are on pottery and hieroglyphics in the Mi'kmaq culture, the Mayan culture, the Olmec culture, the Aztec culture. That is only possible if these two communities had connections with each other. When we really step back and erase away and unlearn some of the things we have been forced to learn as far as history is concerned, we have to recognize that the reason why you see cocaine in some of the mummies in the comedic people is because of transference and connection between the people. The reason why we see crops that have overlapped each other is because of the connection between these people that this um, because of sea voyages that went across both ways. There's just too much evidence that demonstrate that prior to any European traveling to the Americas that the Kemetic people, the Hafarians or the Naturians actually traveled to the Americas and peacefully engaged with them. One other, two other interesting things. This same person, Thor, also demonstrated that the Polynesian ships were able to travel from the Polynesian islands to the Americas. This is why there are similarities and connections between the people of Peru and Chile with the people of the Polynesian islands. But one of the other things that I find very, very intriguing in one of the in some of the comedic story, there is the story of Osiris leaving Isis and journeying on boat to go and restart populations, civilization after the Younger Dryas period occurred in around eight to nine, eight, eight to 13,000 years ago. These same Mesoamerican people also have stories of a being coming from across the sea and came in and taught them agriculture and taught them construction and restarted their civilization. These are not they, these are not coincidence. These are people telling you at their time frame what happened. Another one last bonus point. It's very interesting that the Mi'kmaq people, the Mayans, the Olmecs and the Egyptians, the Kemetic people, also had a 365 day calendar that had an, also a leap year, which they called the wandering year. Why would they all have the same type of calendar 
if they did not have connections with one another. So I do not take away that people were already in the Americas. But after the Younger Dryas period and the flooding that occurred after that and the storms that occurred after that, with the uh, coastal areas of the world, it is quite reasonable that the Kemetic people, the Hafarians, the Netherans, went and reestablished and helped create the civilizations that we know of today as the Olmecs, the Mi'kmaqs, and then progressively up to the Mayans and the Aztecs. So y'all have a great day. And remember that you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable.